As CHCH News marks Black History Month, we want to tell you about a man who many say is Canada's first black hero. Richard Pierpoint was an African slave who fought with the British to earn his freedom. He then became one of the first black settlers in Niagara before volunteering to fight again, this time to defend his new home from an American invasion. Matt Ingram has more. Captured from his home in West Africa at the age of 16 and sold into slavery, Richard Pierpoint earned his freedom decades later after fighting with the British in the American Revolution. He was stationed here in 1780, out near where Fort George is right now. Historian Rochelle Bush says he came to Niagara as a member of Butler's Rangers, a loyalist unit engaged in guerrilla warfare against American rebels and faced extensive racism and discrimination from a community where slavery was a part of life. While they were living here, they were living beside people of African descent who were enslaved. After the Rangers disbanded, Pierpoint was given 200 acres of land, which included parts of this park in downtown St. Catharines. The park was originally named Centennial Gardens, but last fall it was renamed Richard Pierpoint Park in his honor. After the Revolutionary War, Pierpoint became a community leader in St. Catharines, asking the government to allow black people to settle adjacent land grants so they could help each other work the land together and live communally. The government said no, but it didn't stop him from continuing to serve his community. He successfully pushed for the creation of an all-black militia called the Colored Corps to defend Canada in the War of 1812. Helped keep Canada a free country, so we weren't annexed by the United States, but the significance to black soldiers, of course, was that they retained their freedom. At the age of 68, Pierpoint fought with the Corps in the Battle of Queenston Heights, the Battle of Fort George, and the Battle of Stony Creek. Sarah Nixon of the St. Catharines Museum says he left an important legacy in Niagara. He really advocated for the agency of black people in the community. If you want to learn more, the St. Catharines Museum is holding a series of events for Black History Month. Matt Ingram, CHCH News, St. Catharines.